Chandraya Radhika Itadale Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Ted Bhaktaya By the causes mercy of Sri Guru and Goranga. Now we have come to the supreme Guru transcendental holy place within the island of Godrum. Deva Pali! After Lord Nishingadev had liberated Hiranyakashipu by tearing his body apart to protect Pallad Maharaj. Then he came here to wash his hands. He washed away the blood of Hiranyakashipu in this lake. And then he rested here. At that time, all the demigods came to worship him. And it was so beautiful here in Navadip Dham, Lord Nishindev decided to stay. So Vishwakarma, he constructed the thousands of very beautiful jeweled houses all around this area where the devotees would live to serve and worship Lord Nishingadev. But this was in Satyug. So those jeweled houses constructed by Vishwakarma, they have all become dilapidated now. But there are many small hills, tillers, around the area where they used to stand. So nearby you can see Surya Tila, Indra Tila, Ganesh Tila. Where the devotees reside eternally to serve Lord Nishingadev. Srila Bhakti Lord Thakur came here. And he prayed, oh, when will that day be mine? When coming to Devapali, I will have the darshan of Lord Nishingadev. I now pray for his mercy. Because even though he is not our Ishtadev, but he is very kind. We have many obstacles on the path of Bhajan to Radha and Krishna. Lust, anger, greed, pride, bewilderment, envy. And just as Lord Nishingadev tore apart Hirani Kashipu, who was the embodiment of all Anartas, Lord Nishingadev can appear in our heart and destroy all of our Anartas. And when by his ferocious mercy, all the obstacles have been removed. Then spontaneous love for Radha Krishna will make its appearance. So Srila Bhakti Nau Thakur said, when will I come here? And I will pray to Lord Nishingadev. And he will appear before me. And say, oh my dear child. I will protect you from all internal and external obstacles. Peacefully stay here in Godrum Dweep under my protection. And then Lord Nishingadev will place his two lotus feet upon my head. And by the touch of his lotus feet, all my anatas will disappear. And then the current of spontaneous love for Radha and Krishna will begin to flow. Our Prabhupada Bhakti Stansu Thakur, he said, you should read and hear, chant and remember the entire pastimes of Prahlad Maharaj and Lord Nishingadev 108 times. The seventh canto of Srimad Bhagavatam is very profound. 
It is not a simple story of good versus evil. It's 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 a simple story of good versus evil. So the seventh canto of Shrimad Bhagavatam, although all the subjects are, can be found even there in Shrimad Bhagavatam, but especially this pastime of Prahlada Nishingadev is on the subject of Uti. Uti means the stimulus to act. Although by false ego we feel that we are very free and independent to choose whatever we want to do. But everyone is impelled to act helplessly under the influence of Uti, that means the sanskars in their chitta, subconscious mind. So because Pallad Maharaj received samskars by his mother hearing the Harikata of Narad Muni when he was born, he was impelled by devotion. And because Hiranyakashipu and Hiranyaksha in their previous life they were giant Vijay and they incurred the anger of the four Kumaras. So by the anger of a Brahmin, then he had the Uti to be materialistic and demonic. So you are all familiar with the story, I just want to touch a few points. Hirani Kashipu got the benedictions to become the, not be able to be killed in the day or the night or by any weapon or human being or demigod inside or outside and he began to terrorize the universe he was very attached to his son Prahlad and he asked him what is the best thing you have learned and Prahlad Mark said Svavanam Kirtanam Vishnu Svanam Bhava Sevanam Ashram Bhanganam Dasyam Sakhamatma Nivedanam He told his father about Bhakti. So then Hiranyakashipu was furious because it means devotion to his enemy Vishnu who had killed his brother Hiranyaksha. He said, just see how the mind of this child has become polluted by bad association with Vaishnavas. So you, he told the teachers, take him away and deprogram him. After some time, again he invited his son onto his lap and said, what is the best thing you have learned? Vlad Maharaj said, Tatsadu Mandyaya Suruvaru Dehina Sadasama Bhidya Diyama Sarkaha Hitvatma Bhatam Vriyamanda Kutam Banam Gatam Yohari Masayaita Oh, King of the Demons. The living entities in this world are always embarrassed by one uh, inconvenient situation after another. So the best advice is to completely leave all material activities. The dark well of material household life. Banam gato and go to Banam. That means Brindava. Yad Hari Masrayeta and take shelter of the lotus feet of Hari. Hirani Kashibu said, how did you learn these things? Vlad Maharaj said, Matiyana Krishnai Parato Sato Bhava Mito Vipadit Griha Vratanam Adanta Gobi Vishatam Tamishram Puna Punas Chavita Chavananam 
the inspiration to serve Krishna cannot be uh, awakened by one's own effort or by the association of non-Krishna conscious persons. Or by a combination of both. So he didn't reveal it was Narad, but he was just giving it to him. But only Sadhu Sangha can change our hearts. He said the living beings who have made a vow to try to enjoy this world, they descend to deeper and deeper levels of ignorance. Uh, chewing that which is already being chewed. Just like if you get some sugar cane and someone chews it then throws it away and then you pick it up and try to get some more sweetness out of it. So your father and your father's father and your grandfather and your great grandfather all tried to choose some uh, pleasure out of the material world and they were all miserable and they all died. True. So why do you want to follow this path? So then Hirani Kashpu became furious. He said, oh, you think that you are so smart. You think that I don't know what is the goal of life. You think that you are smarter than me and smarter than my guru. Shukracharya. Bhulad Maharaj said, a person who accepts the external sense objects to be have some value doesn't understand that the goal of life is only to please Vishnu. Such persons are gurus in name only. They are blind. And their followers are also blind. And when the blind lead the blind, they all fall in the ditch. Hiranikashipu became more furious. You are saying I am blind and my guru is blind and his guru is blind. Unless and until persons like you bathe themselves completely in the foot dust of pure Vaishnavas who are completely detached from this world, their anartas will never go. Hirani Kashipu said, okay, I've heard enough. Gods, take him away and kill him. So they took him away. They tried to put him in fire. They tried to give him poison. They threw him under the feet of stampeding elephants. They threw him from the top of a cliff. He was just falling. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. And Krishna caught him and put him on the ground. So then Hiranikashipu was becoming insane. Why can't I kill this boy? Maybe he'll kill me. His teacher Sandra Mark said, don't worry. Just leave him in school with us, we'll take care of him, we'll educate him in all the, all the good things like economics and politics. It's just a phase he's going through. Huh? So they put him in the school. And when the school break was there, Prahlad March called all the other little demons. And he said, come here. I want to tell you something very important. Hmm? You should practice bhakti from childhood. Don't lose time. Hmm? Although this human life is temporary like other lives, but it can give 
the eternal transcendental benefit. The children said, oh, we want to play, leave us alone. He said, yes, in your childhood you will play. And then you have education to learn a trade. And then you work very hard. And then you'll get married. And then you'll be surrounded by children. And in this way, your whole life will go by. You say that you remember God when you get old. But when you get old, all you do is think, Oh, my dog. My grandchildren. My car. My CD collection. And in this way, you won't be able to think of Krishna at all. So you should do bhakti now. Guru Susustraya Bhakti Asavala Dapane Nacha Sangina Sadhu Bhaktanan Ishwara Radhane Nacha Under the guidance of your spiritual master and in the association of pure devotees, from them you should learn how to serve the Lord. The boy said, Prahlad, how do we do it? Show us. You are our guru. Prahlad Maharaj said, clap your hands. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Sandana Marka became afraid. <laughs> they thought we told Hirani Kashipu we would change the mind of the boy, but this boy has turned all the demons. Everyone has become a devotee. <laughs> Hearing the sound of the kirtan, Hirani Kashipu, what is that noise? And he came to the school in a furious mood. All the boys were chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Stop! Stop! All of you stop! Stop chanting! Stop! Stop! Stop chanting! Stop chanting! Okay, that's enough. Prad! From where do you get the strength to defy me? Said, I get my strength from the same place you get your strength. From the same place everyone gets their strength. From the Supreme Lord Krishna. But Lord, you're always talking about some God other than me. But where is he? He's everywhere. Really? Is he in this pillar? <laughs> then Prahlad Maharaj looked at the pillar and Lord Nishingadev, he could see him, he was winking. <laughs> Prahlad Maharaj said, yes, he's there. <laughs> then let's see him save you when I cut your head from your body. <laughs> and he punched the pillar with his fist <laughs> and it cracked. <laughs> and then taking a sword, he came to Prahlad to cut off his head. Suddenly there was a tremendous sound. <laughs> More tremendous than that. The whole universe was shaking. And there from the pillar emerged Lord Nishingade! Yes, that's
He was sometimes catching him and sometimes letting him go like Garuda playing with the snake. When he caught him, the demigods were all saying, Jai, Jai, quickly kill him. But when he let him go, then they were saying, Hi, hi, alas, alas. But he was waiting for the time that was not the day or the night. And not inside or outside, but on the threshold. Then he took Hiranikashipu on his, not on the air or in the sky, on the land, over his knee. And not with a weapon, but with his fingernails. And he burst open the intestines of Hiranyakashipu. And then put them on like a garland. And he was covered in blood and roaring. All the demigods were afraid. <laughs> Lord Brahma said to Lord Shiva, Oh Mahadev, please offer prayers to the Lord. Lord Shiva said, You go and offer prayers to the Lord. <laughs> Brahmaji said, Well, let's ask his wife, Lakshmi Devi, to talk to him. So they asked Lakshmi. Lakshmi Devi said, No, I've never seen my husband this angry before. So they had no choice. They asked Prahlad, can you go and offer some prayers? So then Prahlad, he had no fear, it was skipping and very happy. <laughs> and Lord Nishingadev, oh, like a loving mother, picked him up and put Prahlad in his lap. He said, oh Prahlad, I am very pleased with you. Please forgive me that I came late. You had to undergo so many problems just for me. I am sorry. I want to give you a benediction. What do you want? Prahlad said, my Lord, please give me this benediction. You can also pray this. Oh my Lord. Give me this benediction that there should be no more material desires in the core of my heart. Lord Shingadev said, that's not a benediction. You already have no material desires in the core of your heart. Ask again. Vlad Marat said, give me this benediction that my father, Hiranikashipu, who tried to kill me, that he should not suffer for his offenses against me. Lord Nishingadev said, Oh, Kanishta Adhikari delivers seven generations, Madhyam Adhikari 14 generations, and the Mahabhagavat delivers 21 generations of his forefathers. So not only Hiranikashipu, but 21 generations. He didn't even have 21 generations, it was the beginning of Satyuk. So it was the generations from the previous, the previous Kalpa even. They were all liberated by his Bhakti. Lord Singh Dev said, so he's already liberated, you should ask for a benediction, don't avoid it. Blood Mark said, I am not a businessman, that I served you to get some benediction. I only want to please you. Lord Singh Dev said, well, I'll be pleased if you ask for a benediction. Vlad Maharaj said, then give me this benediction. Take all the karma of all the living entities in the whole universe. Give it to me, let me suffer, but let them be free. Lord Nishikadev said, oh Prahlad, you have defeated me. I cannot do that. But I will give this benediction. That if anyone with faith, with faith will hear, our pastimes and our conversation together, then they will very soon attain Krishna Prem.
So now Lord Nishingadev was pacified. And Lord Brahma came and offered prayers. He said, Oh my Lord, you are achintya, inconceivable. It was you who inspired the four Kumaras to become angry and give a curse to Jai and Vijay. And then it was you who arranged for your devotee Prahlad Maharaj to be born in the family of demons. It was by your arrangement that Hiranyakashipu was had animosity and tried to uh, destroy Prahlad Maharaj. And then you yourself came to save him. So this is not a simple story of a good and evil. The Supreme Lord is beyond all dualities of this world. And he had made all sides of the story. Only to attract us to his lotus feet. And show us the path of pure bhakti by which we can transcend this world and go to Goloka Prima. So Lord Nisimhadev is very, very merciful. We have a relationship with him. What is that? Just as the bridge buses in Krishna's eternal Leela all worship Giraj Govardhan to make Krishna happy and for their for his protection. So in the same way, in Navadvip Dham, all the eternal associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu have that same relationship with Lord Nishingadev. So it's, the relationship with Lord Nishingadev is part of your eternal surup in Navadvip Dham. Lord Nishingadev is the protector of the Sankirtan movement. Sankirtan.